good day students in this video we are going to see an example for real world optimization problem so the example considered in this video is a linear programming problem we are also going to see the mathematical modeling of the problem and how to derive that mathematical modeling let us consider this particular example so it is a advertising planning example here a company wishes to advertise its products in four different media such as television youtube magazines and other social medias the following data is obtained from market survey so the data in the table gives the information of cost of advertising a single product in all the four different medias so if you want if they want to advertise a product in tv they need to spend 35000 and similarly in youtube they need to spend 22000 in magazine 15000 social media 10000 and the second row gives the information about the number of potential customers per the product so these are the customer reach given in the second row further other requirements from the companies are company will spend not more than rupees 4 lakh 50000 on this advertisements and advertising on magazines and social media be limited to 1 lakh 50000 at least three products should be advertised on magazines and two products should be advertised on social media and the number of products advertised on tv and youtube shall each be between 5 and 10 so these are certain requirements from the company and the main objective of this problem is to maximize the number of potential customers so here what is the aim is to maximize the number of potential customers what it actually means is they we need to increase these numbers so if a particular product is advertised in a particular media the number of reaches this much so if the product is increased in particular media then the reach will be also increased in that particular media so for one product the reach is somewhat here if you see 2 lakhs means if for two products the reach will be 4 lakhs for three products the reach will be 6 lakhs so per product the reach is given that what we want is to maximize the number of the potential customers for this problem we want to model as a mathematical equation so our objective is to maximize the number of potential customers so our objective is to increase these customers through these four medias so first we have to fix the decision variable so what is my decision variables so i want to fix how many products should be advertised on tv how many products should be advertised on youtube and how many products should be advertised on magazines and social media so let me take x1 is the number of products advertised on tv and x2 is the number of products advertised on youtube and x3 on magazine and x4 on social media so these four are the decision variables that we have taken in our example so we want to find out these numbers how many products should be advertised on each media so our objective is to maximize the number of potential customers so our objective will be maximizing the potential customer so i need to maximize so maximize what maximize x1 times this particular potential customers so these customers is for per product so i am going to give x1 product in television so the number of potential customers in television is x1 into this 2 lakhs so similarly we can have the total number of potential customers in all the four medias we can have 
an expression like 2 lakh into x1 and 2 lakh 50,000 into x2 plus 1 lakh 50,000 into x3 plus 1 lakh x4. So, this will be our objective function and we want to maximize the reach of potential customers. So, this will be my equation. So, this is the objective we want to focus in this problem. Beyond this objective, we are having many constraints stated from the company side. So, if we see the constraints one by one, if you see the further requirements from the company, the company will spend not more than 4,50,000 for advertisement. So, the cost for spending for a particular product is given here for all the four medias. So, I can, uh, our decision variable is we can have more than one products to be can, that can be advertised in each media. So, the first constraint for this particular thing, the mathematical equation what we have formulate, what we can formulate is 35,000 into x1. So, for one product, the cost is 35,000. So, in TV, I am going to advertise x1 products. So, the total cost will be 35,000 x1. So, similarly, I can write for all other medias also. So, 22,000 x2 plus 15,000 x3 plus 10,000 x4. This is the total cost of advertisement. It should be less than or equal to 4,50,000. So, this is the problem statement for this particular constraints. So, if you see all the numbers, if all the numbers I divide it by 1000, I can simplify this constraints further so that I can get 35 x1 plus 22 x2 plus 15 x3 plus 10 x4 should be less than or equal to 450. So, this is the constraints for this particular statement. So, this is a mathematical equation for this one. So, let us consider the next condition. So, advertising on magazines and social media together be limited to 1,50,000. So, I am advertising X3 products in magazines and X4 products in social media and the amount spent is I need to take the amount spent on magazines and social media. So, the expression will be 15,000 X3. So, this is the amount spent on magazine and 10,000 X4. So, this is the total amount on magazines and social media and it should be limited to 1,50,000. So, it should be less than or equal to 1,50,000. So, again this equation we can reduce by dividing it by 1000. So, I am getting 15x3 plus 10x4 should be less than or equal to 150. So, this is the mathematical model for this particular constraint. Let us consider the next constraint. So, the next constraint is at least 3 products be advertised on magazines and 2 products on social media. So, it is a simple condition which is a boundary condition. What we are saying is in magazine we are having the advertisements for X3 products and in social media we are having X4 product. So, according to this statement what we are going to say is this X3 should be greater than or equal to 3. So, at least 3 products. So, X3 should be greater than or equal to 3. For social media x4 should be greater than or equal to 2. So, this is the statements we are getting from these constraints. In the next constraint is the number of products advertised on TV and YouTube shall each be 5 and 10. So, what we are actually making here is on TV it is x1 and YouTube it is x2. So, x1 the number of products that can be advertised on TV 
should be between 5 and 10. So, x1 should be greater than or equal to 5 and it also less than or equal to 10. It should be in the range between 5 and 10. Similar constraint is written for x2. It should be between 5 and 10. So, these are the model that we are making from the statements. So, again looking at the problem, we have developed the objective function equation for the objective mentioned in the problem. So, our objective is to maximize the number of potential customers and we have written constraint equations for the total cost spent by a company and advertisements on magazines and social media alone and the boundary limitations of products in all the four different medias. So, we have written the equation. So, the entire problem, how we can write an expression if we can see. So, this gives the overall mathematical formulation of this problem. So, you want to maximize the number of potential customers. And here in that particular equation, I have taken 10 power 5 outside. So, I am getting to x1 plus 2.5 x2 plus 1.5 x3 plus 1 x4. And subject to the constraints, the constraints are for total cost constraints and the constraint for magazine and social media and the boundary constraints for all the four medias. So, this is how we are formulating a mathematical model of a given problem. So, this problem here, if you look at the equations, all the equations are linear in structure and hence this problem is a linear programming model. Thank you.